Oh, lots of ants. Does make sense with uh, the amount of water down here versus everywhere else. Evening, we found our way down off of the uh, top of the cliffs down into the uh, canyon and have been following the stream along up to the base of the dam. Should be, oh, there it is, it's coming into view right now. Our short time at Blue Water was spent exploring the state park and doing some much needed chores. Since leaving Lexington, we had been staying at parks with limited to no services aside from access to pit toilets. The section of Blue Water Park we stayed in was no different, although they did have a shower facility open with warmish water. During our time here, we traveled into Grant and Albuquerque to get the truck maintenance done, pick up dog food and treats for Ella and visited a really cool outdoor consignment store to get some new hiking clothes. We ended up spending most of our days taking the Dam Overlook Trail or the Canyon Trail. In the evenings, we had the pleasure of watching all the rabbits and eagles play about as the sun set. Our site in Pinion Cliff had a great view of the water and nightly we were treated to gorgeous sunsets.
morning. Morning. This is our last <laughs> day here. It is. Going for a walk with Ella. Yeah. We just woke up. Yeah. Um, Ella decided she had to bring a unicorn on our walk with us. And we've encountered all leash dogs already. And um, a dog that's on leash, but working its head off at Ella. So. so what was your favorite thing about this place? Uh, I like this trail and the access to the trail is made it kind of excited. And it was just really peaceful after everybody left. <laughs> we did see uh, free range ponies last night. Yeah, that was kind of cool. So my least favorite thing from this place was the, um, sorry, um, new fear unlocked. Oh yeah. So <laughs> there are a lot of like eagles and other hawks and things around here. They like to ride the thermals. Um, one evening in particular, we saw several of them, probably a half dozen, just like kind of floating. And then they came over and were like floating right above us. And we looked up and we noticed <laughs> that one of them had a writhing snake in its talons, which we're pretty sure was a rattlesnake. And yeah, felt like I was in a nature documentary and I was about to have a snake dropped on my head. So we ran. <laughs> we ran down the trail. It was the only reasonable response. Yes, I agree. <laughs> now, um, family are telling us that we need to hike with an umbrella. <laughs> At least, I guess the snake wouldn't directly fall on our heads, but um, it, was, it was a new fear unlock for sure. I now look up whenever the eagles soar, um, not just to look at them, but to make sure they don't have anything like a snake in their talons. If it was a fish, it would be one thing, unpleasant, but not the end of the world. A snake, eh, especially a rattlesnake, could be deadly. Could be a little interesting. Yep. <laughs> well, we better head the trail. We've got to um, drive like four hours north to Colorado today. Yep. So we'll see you later. <laughs>